If you only knew the power of the dark side, it is your destiny. This is Take the Gate. It is July 1st, 2014. And this is an article found on Nation of Change. And it's titled, I'm making $21 an hour at McDonald's. Why aren't you? And it's from the Occupy Wall Street News Report. And the author writes, No, that isn't a typo. It's really my salary. You see, I work for McDonald's in Denmark where an agreement between our union and the company guarantees that workers older than 18 are paid at least $21 an hour. Employees younger than 18 make at least $15, meaning teenagers working at McDonald's in Denmark make more than two times what many adults in America earn working at the Golden Arches. To anyone that says that fast food jobs can't be good jobs, I would answer that mine isn't bad. In fact, parts of it are just fine. Under our union's agreement with McDonald's, for example, I receive paid sick leave that workers are still fighting for in many parts of the world. We also get overtime pay, guaranteed hours at at least two days off a week, unlike most workers in most countries. At least 10% of the staff in any given restaurant must work at least 30 hours a week. Many of the U.S. workers I meet make less than $9 an hour. Unlike in Denmark, where most of the fast food workers are young people looking to make extra money while in school. The vast majority of U.S. fast food workers are adults trying to support their families. Roughly 70% are in their 20s or older, according to a recent study, and more than a quarter are raising kids. Jessica Davis, for example, who works at McDonald's in Chicago and has two daughters, one four years old and the other four months old, after working four years at McDonald's, she makes $8.98 an hour and has no stable work schedule. How can fast food companies expect employees to work hard but not pay them enough to live on? All fast food workers should be able to support themselves while helping large companies like McDonald's make huge profits. Employees also deserve a voice in their workplace as we have in Denmark. And McDonald's should respect the right of employees in all countries who organize and speak for themselves. McDonald's didn't give us our union, we had to fight for it. It was a five-year struggle that involved many demonstrations like the ones that will be stretched across the globe on Thursday. So let's con hope to continue this fight against corporate tyranny as we have seen so many facets of it recently in my little reports here.